Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this glitch on how you can skip the Ogre boss in the Shattered Throne mission and get the quest for the Exotic Bow, the Wish Ender. This can also be used to skip this boss as it's by far the hardest in the mission. So if you're struggling, use this simple glitch to skip this boss. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like and showing your support really helps me and the channel out. And also, if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, this info and footage was provided by my good pal Mod Life Crisis, a great Destiny 2 YouTuber, definitely worth your time checking out for those daily videos, guides and much much more. His channel link can be found within the video description. Okay, so this glitch no doubt will be patched soon, so hey, use it while you can. So you have to have a minimum of two players in this mission to do this glitch. If you don't know anything about this mission or how you get the exotic wish and the bow, I seriously suggest you check out my full guide on this exotic which you can find linked within the video description. The quest is long, it's hard and you will die a lot, but if you stick to it and are seriously dedicated to getting it, you will get it, it's as simple as that. Ok so load up the Shad Thrones mission, make your way to the ogre room, you know the ogre, the massive ogre, the four light or paths around him, that's the boss we can get to glitch. If you have the checkpoint, even better. So once you are here people, you simply start the encounter, now the person who isn't the host has to die and wait on his character select screen. Yes, that old glitch works here if you know what I mean. So the person who isn't host dies and waits on that changed character screen. The host then dies and when the 3 second countdown timer starts, have the player on that changed character screen, select to change character when the time hits 1 second. If you time this right, when you spawn back in, when the host spawns back in, you can either wait for your teammate to rejoin you or go on into the ogre encounter and the ogre will not spawn and you can simply just progress through this mission. Now at first I thought this wouldn't open the door to your progress but it does. It also gives you the triumph for beating this big old ogre bastard so that's pretty cool. What you can then go and do is progress to the statue and pick up the stars of the wish and the exotic bow. Once you speak to the statue you will then get a secret mission under Tangled Shore. Again, all that info and what else is needed within this Exotic Ball quest is in the Exotic Ball quest guide video linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. But hey, if the ball at this stage doesn't interest you, you can just go on to defeat the final boss of Dolan Koru, who is pretty difficult for first timers, but you really shouldn't be having much of a problem here, people. But hey guys, this is how you skip the ogre and get the exhausted ball quest or just skip the ogre in the Shattered Throne mission. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like top 5s, guides, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.